We know many of you may be having some flashbacks to February of 2021 this week with the cold temperatures on the way, but a Texas energy expert has assured us there is less to fear now compared to what we all experienced then and says we should not expect any rolling blackouts. ERCOT, as we know, manages the power grid in the state of Texas, covers most of the state at least. The president of ERCOT, uh, of Stoic Energy rather, says for one thing, ERCOT has stepped up its inspections of power plants, making sure they are winterized. Also, temperatures are not expected to drop as low or for as long as they did in 2021. Even a few degrees warmer than we saw back then makes a massive difference when it comes to energy demand. We're extremely vulnerable if the temperatures around the state you know, if it's if it's in the single digits in DFW and it's in the teens in Houston and South Texas, there's very little chance that there wouldn't be some kind of rolling outage. Again, temperatures not expected to get that low statewide. Also in our favor, no ice or snow in the forecast as well. It is still possible to lose power for reasons outside the grid's control. Tree limbs falling on power lines. We see outages for a host of reasons, but uh, really when we do look back to February of 2021, Greg Fields, and you think about just that, that perfect storm, kind of literally, of cold temperatures across the entire state, precipitation, it was a brutal week. Oh, that, that was a brutal week, and yes, we're not looking at that uh, kind of situation this time. Yes, it is going to be brutally cold for a short amount of time across North Texas, so we're going to talk more about that with that Arctic air poise to work its way in a little bit later this week. A lot of folks do have some travel plans, trying to get out of town for the uh, holiday weekend. Some folks are going to be seeing some snow as that Arctic air moves in, so let's uh, bring Mariel in to talk more about that, and we're talking about some dangerous wind chills uh, in some areas as well. Already some dangerous wind chills, especially across the Dakota this morning, but what we're looking at also is a snowpack. We're seeing some snow already extending from Wisconsin to portions of Indiana and Ohio, and that's only going to continue as this new system comes in. Snow adds an additional at least half a foot across the Dakotas and into the Midwest, as well as as far south as Oklahoma and Arkansas. We'll see some of that continue on across portions of Tennessee, Kentucky into West Virginia behind that cold air and ahead of that front widespread rain extending from the mid Atlantic towards the northeast by Friday morning. Meanwhile, snowpack continues across portions of the Great Lakes, leaving behind bitter cold air for Christmas weekend. Here's already where we're seeing at least half a foot of snow, and that's in the Dakotas across portions of uh, Minnesota and, of course, the higher terrain. The Rocky seeing a, a good snowpack at this time. Nine, negative nine already in Bismarck for the actual temperature. Wind chill warnings, wind chill watches extend all the way across the Plains for the next 72 hours as this cold air sinks south. Look at these wind chills forecast by Thursday morning, negative 30 in Bismarck, negative 30 in Denver and across uh, portions of the Plains. We'll see wind chills in the negative 30 range. So yes, bitter cold. If you're traveling anywhere north or north and east over the next several days, you need to pack at least several layers. No exposed skin over the next several days, Kara. Okay, thank you so much for the update and insight. We're getting ready for it. Uh